important to you, Mr. Shelby. So the Art Fellows want you to know that any deviation from your instructions will have consequences. That's your dog's name. You visited your sister. Me? What's your name, boy? Your sister is a potential security breach. She has connections with the Bolsheviks in London, who have connections with the Soviet Embassy. I think I'll just call your dog boy. You love your boy, don't you? Understand this. You have the local police in your pocket. We have Scotland Yard. They do what we tell them, just as surely as this dog. Let him off the leash. Are you hearing me, Mr. Shelby? I can charm dogs. Gypsy witchcraft. And those I can't charm, I can kill with my own hands. You learn it when you have a dog on a boat. They go fucking mad in tunnels. I feel like I'm in a tunnel now. I have that feeling when you have to kill or be killed. Let the dog off the leash. Give the order. You give in Gaelic. Like I'm told you do when someone displeases you or someone reports you. Visit your sister again and she will die crossing the road. Monarch! My new size. If you want to be dead, I'll be dead, wouldn't I? It's true. It's true, we do need you alive. When you go home today, Mr. Shelby, be sure to check under your little boy's pillow. The tooth fairy has been. We can reach anyone, anywhere. In the next 10 minutes, you don't do or say anything I haven't told you. All right? All right? Yeah. Hello, Ollie. Oh, wait, hang on. Just you, yeah? Who stays out here? You stay here. The, light, the horizon tries, but it's just not a kind on the eye. Telephone. You need to make a call. It's all part of Tommy's plan. Apparently. That will probably be for you, won't it? Hello? Arthur? Right, so that'll be your side of the street swept up, won't it? Where's mine? What you got for me? Signed by the Minister of the Empire himself? Yeah. Yeah. This means that you can put your room in our shipments. And now when a popular docks, we'll lift the canvas. You know what? I'm not even going to have my lawyer look at that. No, no, it's all legal. You know what? Mate, I trust you. That's that. Done. So, whiskey. 
There is uh, one thing, though, uh, that we do need to discuss. What would that be? It says here, 20% paid to me of your export business. As we agreed on the telephone. No, 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 no. no. See, I've had my lawyer <coughs> draw this up for us just in case. But, uh, <coughs> it says that here, here that a hundred percent of your business goes to me. I see. It's there. Right. Don't worry about it, right? Because it's totally legal binding. All you have to do is sign the document and transfer the whole lot over to me. Sign just here, is it? Yeah. I see. That's funny. That is. What? Nah, that's funny. I'll give you 100% of my business. Yeah. Why? Uh, Oli, no, 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 it's just non-fucking negotiable. That's all you need to know. So all you have to do is sign a fucking contract. Right there. Just sign it. With your pen. I understand. Good. Get on with it. Well, I have an associate waiting for me at the door. I know he looks like a quiet boy, but he is actually an anarchist from Kentish Town. Tommy, I'm going to fucking shoot you, right? Now, when I came in here, Mr. Solomons, I stopped to tie my shoelace. It's not a fact, Molly. I stopped to tie my shoelace. <clears throat> and while I was doing it, I laid a hand grenade on one of your barrels. Mark 15 with wire trip. And my friend upstairs, well, he's like one of those anarchists that uh, they blew up Wall Street, you know. But he's a professional. And he's in charge of the wire. If I don't walk out that door, with a stroke of seven. He's gonna trigger the grenade and your very combustible rum will blow us all to hell. And I don't care. Cause I'm already dead. He tied his lace, Alfie. And there is a kid at the door. From a good family too. Ollie, oh, it's shocking what they become. What were you doing when he sat there? Oh, he tied his lace, nothing else. Yeah, but what were you doing? I was marking the runners in the paper. You did. Just check of the time. Carry on. All right, Ollie, I want you to go outside, yeah, and shoot that boy in the face from the good family. All right, anyone walks through that door except me, he blows the grenade. He tied his fucking lace on it to my lace. I bet 100 to 1 that you're fucking lying, mate. That's my money. Well, you say you failed to consider the form. I did blow up my own pub for the insurance. Okay, right, well, considering the form. I would say 65 to 1, very good odds. And I would be more than happy and agree if you decide over 65% of your business to me. Thank you. 65? No deal. Ollie, what do you say? Jesus Christ, Alfie, he tied his fucking lace, I saw him! Mm. Look, he planted a grenade, I know he did. Alfie, it's Tommy fucking Shelby! <laughs> you were behaving like a fucking child. This is a man's world. Now take your apron off. I see in the corner like a little boy. Fuck off. Now. Four minutes. Right, four minutes. <clears throat> Talk to me about hand grenades. The chalk mark on the barrel, but knee height. It said Hamilton Christmas. Took out the pin and put it on the wire. Based on this, forty five percent. 
30. Oh, fuck, I've told you that's far too mental. In France, Mr. Solomon, so while I was a tunneler, a clay kicker, 179. I blew up Schwab and Al. Same kit I'm using today. It's funny that. I do know the 179. And I heard they all got buried. Three of us dug ourselves out. Are like you digging yourself out now? Like I'm digging now. Listen, I'll give you 35%. That's your lot. 35. You said while this business was going on in London, you wanted peace at home. And the only way to guarantee peace is by making the prospect of war seem hopeless. If you apologize once, you do it again and again and again, like taking bricks out of the wall of your fucking house. Do you want to bring the house down, Arthur? No. If you're soft on rebellion, it'll grow. What is soft on rebellion? You did the right thing, John. Now we go on the offensive. We take two of the Changreta pubs, we take them tonight. That's it. Oh, right. For Christ's sake, why? Hey! Why? Why? Because we fucking can! Because we fucking can! And if we can, we do! And if we lift our heel off their necks now, they'll just come at us! Remember, these are the bastards that wanted Danny Wu's bang dead. Getting soft, brother. Soft and weak. Save the barber for Sundays, eh? We appear to have taken you by surprise. I have adjusted it. Since the socialists got into Downing Street, we are all being followed. We have to meet in places where we'd meet anyway. You should have stopped by Small Heath. I could have given you a more traditional welcome. They want to know about ammunition. And chains for the wheels. When the White Guard make their run for Tbilisi, it'll be of a rough terrain. The chains are suitable for snow or wet ground. They're already stored on the vehicles. There's a batch of weapons set aside at the BSA, which is bound for the Turkish army. And how will you get it all aboard the London train? There won't be a strike that night across the city. We'll have to stop the train twice, how? Two drivers will join the strike at different points. Rather fun. Getting the communist unions to help get weapons to the white. Yeah, it's rather fun, eh? I'm thinking ahead, thinking of every possibility, remembering everything that is happening. The Russians want to inspect the vehicles. I'll take photographs. Mm -mm. The Duke has sent his niece. She's here. Tomorrow you will take her to the factory and show her. No. Mm. Union conveners are watching the factories. Not possible. Anything is possible, Mr. Shelby. You will take her. He'll pick her up from this hotel at 10. Now look, priest with an empty glass. Let's get back to the party. You know, gentlemen, there is hell. And there is another place below hell. I will remember everything. I forget nothing. What are you doing, Tommy? Something shit's going. That's like you. Why are you doing that, Tommy? To remind myself what I'd be. I wasn't who I am.
going on? I, I think Tommy's lost his mind, Charlie. <laughs> well, it's honest work, Hurley. But I don't want to get used to it. So I'll need six cans of... Oh, you beat us to it. Did I? I was trying to nab a filly for my stud. Sorry? Thomas Shelby from where? From Birmingham. Goodness. No, not much. Hey, Carlton. I breed racehorses and train them. What is it you do? I rarely answer questions. That's what I do. Tommy! Did you ask why in France? Yeah. So it's the same answer. Because. Why me? Because. Because. Because if anyone connects me to this, it will be assumed that it was a criminal act and not a political one. No. You need not fear being connected to the killing, because I will see to it that no connection is ever made. You will have complete immunity after the fact. But in the execution, you will get no help from agents of the crime. And we can't be seen to be involved. You've been chosen, Mr. Shelby. And there really is no choice. No equals. Bang. And your man here will shed no tears as he looks the other way. before the booze starts talking for us. You have a horse? Yes, I have a horse. The horse is why I'm here. Purely that. And because you're paying me a lot of money to train your horse, that's why I'm here. Purely that. Good. Good. Oh, it's us then. To the horse. To the derby. Cheers. Cheers. So is that what you say to women? Only if I don't know what they want. What if they don't want to fuck? Then life is simpler. You want a simple life? <sighs> Do I look like a man who wants a simple life, eh? So what? Your sister was here. <sighs> she was worried, you and Freddy. It had made her sick. She's all right, but in her condition, she needs peace. Women talk. That is something they do. She talked about you. She said you keep everything locked up. Well, that's what men do. Your sister's nice, I like her. On a gathering storm comes a tall, handsome man in a dusty black coat with a red. Give me a bottle of whiskey and uh, three glasses, please. Scotch or Irish? Irish. I've decided not to go to the races. Not unless you give me another two pound ten shilling toward the dress. I've already given you three. How much did you pay for the suit you'll be wearing? Oh, I don't pay for suits. My suits are on the house. or well, the house burns down. So you want me to go looking like a flower girl? What I want, it makes no difference. It's not me 
you dressing up for? Happy or sad? Sad. Okay. But I warn you. I'll break your heart. Already broken. Finally lost. Third time unlucky. We took money from all over the city. Yeah, but you'll pay it back to people around here. Buy your popularity back. Already done. Taught you well. And you fixed this race without the permission of Billy Kimber? <laughs> Obviously didn't teach you well enough. Rule one, you don't punch above your weight. Billy Kimber is there for the taking. Says who? Says Tom in his Parliament of One. I ran this business for five years. Yeah. Well, I was away fighting, remember? When I learned some things, such as, you strike when your enemy is weak. Jurisdictions. Do you want tea? Inspector, I responded to your invitation because I want us to understand each other. I'm a businessman. I want to make my business successful. And I want my city run peacefully. Well, if the city is peaceful, business can thrive. So we are on the same side. I think perhaps we could be. Night. How can we be on the same side when I see things like this? My men found this in the bedroom of a known communist. It has your sister's name on it. It was obvious she'd been sleeping in his bed. Are you also in bed with the communists, Mr. Shelby? I do not share their fantasy. And as for my sister, I've already dealt with the situation. Freddy Thorne is at the very top of my list. I'll cross him off. He won't be returning to the city. I'll make him part of our deal. What deal? You and your specials will leave my businesses alone from now on. No more raids into our territory. No more smashing up pubs. No more lifting my runners. You will turn a blind eye to all of my gambling operations. Also, I am planning an expansion onto the racetracks. I intend to do business with Billy Kimber. He runs most of the legal trackside betting outside of London. He has policemen on his payroll. I want you to put in a word with the Chief Inspector of Gloucestershire that his men should leave me alone when I make my move. Forgive me, I don't seem to have a pen to write down this rather long list of demands. And what do I get in return? I have what you're looking for. I have the guns. What guns? We're not here to play games. So wait, wait. Twenty-five Lewis machine guns, fifty carbines. 
10,000 rounds of ammunition, all in a crate bound for Libya, stolen from the BSA factory proofing bay. I'm guessing they sent you to Birmingham to get those guns back. Well, to me, that hasn't. I've left word with men I trust that if I am taken into police custody for whatever reason, those guns will be shipped to Liverpool. From there, they will be sent directly to Belfast and sold to the Irish Republican Army. All your good work in Ireland will be undone. Each stolen weapon is numbered and marked. If I sell them to the IRA, it won't be long before Mr. Churchill finds out. I imagine you got into enough trouble over the burning of the King's photographs. That was just a taster. If those guns reach Belfast, your life in the force is over. When I've achieved what I've set out to achieve, I will let you know where to find the guns. You'll be a hero. You'll probably get a medal. I'm a fair man. It's a fair offer. Do we have a deal? I need an answer. Right now. Very well. But I'd prefer if we don't shake hands on it. shake the hand of a man who didn't even fight for his country. He knows you're the boss. He wants to meet you. Will you talk to him? No. You don't parley when you're on the back foot. We'll strike a blow back first. How's your beautiful horse? I just put a bullet in his head. Was he lame? He looked at me the wrong way. It's not a good idea to look at Tommy Shelby the wrong way. What a waste. Yeah. A waste is what it is. 